story being told inside my head I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man Before the gardening begins, I try to simplify and get things in order in the house so it will be easy to maintain. George just put this hooks up there so it's gonna be very handy I already put some stuff there these are just some drying wool balls and I'm just going to keep them here I have a bunch of them I have these for years they've been working so well because they just reduce the time of drying so for these boxes i've been thinking around how to organize the things in the house where they make the most sense and i think i'm figuring out so on this side so i just bought these in the shafts and all of the shoes that kind of like you know in the better shape and that what we wear outside we have it over here all of the rest of the shoes that we wear to garden and go to the chickens you know the boots and the muddy things we keep it in the garage for these boxes uh, I'm going to keep one of them I have some extra IKEA towels but I don't go to IKEA that often so I just stuck up on that whatever extra I have I'm going to keep it here I don't like to keep them all of them in the kitchen because otherwise I'm going to use them constantly because it's just easier to reach to grab a new one instead of to find the one that I already used so the other one going to be candle supplies the third one is going to be soap supplies and the fourth one is going to be for the seeds and I also bought this caddy so I can put the cleaner in here and it's I know where it is all the time but when I'm using them I kind of put them all over the place so it's hard to locate so this will help me and it's very convenient to use because it's not flipping down to the side and they're usually the ones that I have seen so it's very sturdy it's easy and fast to grab The other changes that I made so I put two shelves behind this desk and it was too much and I didn't have that many things so I can get away with this one storage over there and I really like this new layout because it's across from the fireplace so it makes a lovely view here basically this is where I have my prints this is where I print all, all the art supplies everything that is related to that it's on this shelf I might gonna go through them because I might have to you know just declutter once in a while okay so the furniture from the living room I bought it in here in Max's room because he needed more storage for the books and we used to have this type of storage when they were little so we started out with that and we're going back to that because this seems like the best storage and I added that shelf that we had in the office area before so he can display his boxes that was another issue it was hard to store and he wanted to keep them 
and this is the chef that we used to have the fruits on it in our previous home if you haven't seen that I have this in my other videos but he can display whatever he put together uh, all his Lego creations and on this side so we created this area to store his clothes he doesn't want to have a closet it used to be a closet over here but they choose to have a bigger space instead and so this is how he wanted he wanted to have a cozy spot for this desk and that's what he likes to do he's tinkering around and he just getting very creative here and yes you might think it's messy no it's not he just cleaned it up yesterday <laughs> but you know this is what creation is about like um, we create mess it doesn't mean we always have a uh, picked up house not at all we live here and then he constantly working on something so this is his desk normally and over here we got more storage for his Legos for now we just have some this is from Ikea this drawers and not even a drawer is just a, I think it was from the clothing section where you can put the jewelry in there or something like that but it works like a drawer for us so these are very um, efficient way to store the Legos because when he needs to locate something it's very easy to just dig in there and just find the pieces that he needs but also he has this CD player so I got some CDs for him for Christmas it's all the Hardy Boys they already read the books so I thought it would be nice to listen as an audio book and over here that's the end of the hall and I used to have the essential oils on this shelf. I got this shelf from a second hand store for $3 and I can adjust the height. So I just bought it here and then Max can put his little things on it and he can play around, he can change the scenario. <laughs> so i think it's a perfect spot for that the other change that we made is that this shaft came back to its original place <laughs> just a little bit higher and we put it higher because the coats are long so it's more useful to have it higher and it's just a little cute shaft that i can decorate for each season and then of course we still have this closet so we only keep the coats in here because it's the only place we can store it <laughs> even though we mainly going out on the back sometimes i use the front and also we got baskets so i have jewels on this side and the same basket that he has the stuff in there that's the same spot where he has his jacket and the vest and this is mine and then max's and Cole's. so that way <laughs> you can tell that max has the most of the jacket because he just makes it muddy faster uh, and I got the little hooks I can add additional things there I got two slippers if we have people coming over we take off our shoes inside the house so make sure they fit it's not cold and I have this mirror that I want to ask you what to put up here so right now it's just leaning towards the wall but eventually he's going to put this up and it's going to be a perfect spot I've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall here are some ideas how I like to organize my kitchen and one of them is the zone organizing and I came up with that when in the morning we trying to accomplish things with my husband at the same time <laughs> so we were in each other's way a lot of time and uh, as I was trying to pulling out things from the drawer he was in the way so to simplify things I created areas in the kitchen where we prepared the smoothie and underneath that area in the drawers we have everything that we need for that and this area that I'm organizing right now this is the closest to the pantry and this is the baking station I would say <laughs> because um, I, usually when I need something from the from the pantry that would be the huge jar of flowers so I need this area to be nearby and meanwhile I was doing that I was making a gem out of um, Italian plum 
and um, so this is nearby to the pantry because of that and I have the mixer on the table so everything that I need for baking or creating a breakfast is in that area now I moved all the kitchen towels close to the sink so I used to have this under the oven area which was the other side of the kitchen and it didn't make sense because when I need a kitchen towel or I need some kind of wipe I need this when I'm near to the sink so I moved all of this type of things where it's very handy this is the closest to the sink I love to use these dividers I got these off of Amazon I will link down below in the description box and also I have some uh, but these are just a little baskets to dry things but I also use this under the plate if it's hot so it just makes sense to put them together another way to organize is just to use some type of dividers as just boxes and I have those boxes that you have seen previously from IKEA um, they are probably older than my kids <laughs> it's been a long time I have those around and they keep moving it depends where and how we live and we used to have those in the bathroom so I just wash them now and I repurpose them in the kitchen because storing things vertically it definitely gives more options and space to organize things also January is a good month to go through all the things that we have in the pantry since we are done with all the holiday cooking I just want to make sure I'm checking on the food that we use them all up be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me Okay, so this is gonna be a very quick haul This is from Natural Grocers I just stopped there to pick up a few things And Joet went to Costco to grab a few things so this is from the natural grocers I just grabbed these tomatoes I like to buy a smaller one on the winter months because they ripen faster so they taste better I have some zucchini that is fresh I have some in the freezer but I was craving some fresh ones and Max really loves these ginger pickled ginger I like it too but he loves that I got another oil for the soap making <laughs> and then this is Max's favorite so again this is a treat that he likes and cheese this brand is pretty amazing they have amazing cheese I mean dairy free trees okay and then pomeos we love those lemon this is from Costco so it's kind of <laughs> mixed together so this is from Costco and I have some other sausages as well so this is what you are going to make so when we do the barbecue we do a bunch of them this is um, a guacamole that we really love this is another treat that we buy once in a while and maybe I should just crack the coat for that maybe I should just remake it <laughs> something similar and then carrots we usually have one or two of these from Costco each week today we just bought one or actually Joat because Joat and Cole went to Costco and then Max and I went to natural grocers I got a few cold cuts and just to make some sandwiches and tomato sauce that is sugar free and you know everything free I got some peanuts I make a uh, peanut butter out of that more sausage I'm going to keep this in the fridge because this is for the morning so I like to use one of that for everybody so that means I'm adding some omelets and some potatoes so this this whole thing it's enough for the four of us well, actually the three of them I don't like sausages I have some celery root this cheese was on sale these are all just vegetables in there best chocolate on the whole entire world it's so good some pickled herrings the salsa from Costco the best chocolate ever without processed sugar this is from Costco and the last thing that I bought this is from Natural Grocers but you can buy it anywhere else 
and it's just a fine pasta so I like to make some spring rolls with that or just use it in a Hungarian chicken soup. One of the things that can help reduce the late afternoon chaos is to get ahead of the vegetables for dinner. I blanch the vegetables, so later on I just have to warm them up on some ghee. Blanching stops enzyme actions which otherwise cause loss of flavor, color and texture. In addition, blanching removes some of the surface dirt and microorganisms, brighten colors and helps slow vitamin losses. I went over my pantry and I find a few items that needs to be used up and one of them is a buckwheat that I soaked in water and I dehydrate them so they kind of become crunchy and all the rest is kind of like raisins and uh, whatever didn't fit in the jar I'm just going to use them up they are mostly sweet things so I decided I am going to make some bar and I grinded up some walnut basically you can use and put anything in there that you like there's no ratio or rules what you have to put the only thing I add is the cocoa butter this is kind of the glue to it and I love to use this oil because it becomes solid on a room temperature so it's a uh, way easier to handle than the coconut oil and it tastes so much better as well I added some vanilla flavor and I'm going to wrap them up in some paper that I also find in the pantry and I have more of that but it's kind of on the the higher area where I store them and I was kind of lazy to put it away so I thought I'm going to use them up as well These cute papers are from Amazon. These are wax papers, so it's safe to use to put any candy in there that are homemade and just makes it more presentable. I will have the link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for your time to watch this video until the end and I can't wait to see you in the next video.